Hi, my name is Tim Ballard. I'm the founder and CEO of Operation Underground Railroad. Our organization exists to infiltrate the dark world of human trafficking. Human trafficking is a worldwide problem. It's the fastest growing criminal enterprise on the planet. Millions of people, including children, are stuck in this, sold in the commercial sex trade, sold in the slave labor trade, sold in organ harvesting. This is real, this problem is growing, and we need to do something about it. We need to come together to do something about it. One of the reasons that human trafficking has been able to grow so fast is that people don't know it's happening. People aren't aware, even though it's right before their faces, because it's too hard sometimes to recognize. It's too hard to accept that something so horrific could be happening to people, could be happening to children. What people don't understand is how easy it is to purchase a child online. It's as easy as ordering a pizza. What I say to those that harm children is I'd much rather be the person that's staring them in the eyes than that child that they showed up to harm. The reason being is I've seen those children. I've looked them in the eyes and I've seen the pain and I've seen what they've gone through and I'd much rather it be me than that child. What I would tell someone is this is absolutely happening in your community. Every time I set up one of these ops, I go all across the state, I always think, you know, no one's gonna show up this time. Every single time, somebody shows up. And every single time we do these, the, the number increases. I can think of one operation we did was in a smaller community, and I thought, you know, we're probably gonna get seven or eight people and ultimately we ended up arresting 26. And that's in a small community where they thought, there's no way this is happening in, in our town. So I'm here to say, absolutely, this is happening in your area. My name is Jessica, and I'm the Director of Aftercare for Operation Underground Railroad, and we are here in South America. Operation Underground Railroad started with doing a lot of sting operations and really coming alongside and supporting local governments. One of the things that not everyone knows about Operation Underground Railroad is how passionate they are about aftercare. Our whole team believes so strongly that when the arrest happens and the girls are freed, that that's just the beginning of the journey. If you're not able to really have aftercare with services of mental health, with vocational training, with creating places where they can go to create a livable income, then 80% go back into some type of sexual exploitation or trafficking. But what that says to me is there's 80% of children and teenagers and young adults that we can have an impact on. We have the opportunity to help them with vocational training, with providing some type of skill so that they can have a livable income and so that they never have to go back to any type of human trafficking or sexual exploitation, but that their dreams can really be fulfilled, that they have that opportunity to explore what they feel like they were meant to do and why they're on this earth. <laughs> 